Hi, Luke. Okay, I have your watch here. It is finally evaluation day. Okay, first things first, let's talk about the numbers. Well, that's not bad. It's a little ragged, but overall the signal is clean. 193 is not bad at all. A little bit of beat error. What this number tells us is that the watch itself is not eating up all of its power trying to push a dirty train gear gear train around and that the pivots are probably in pretty good condition um, but it's low which means of course that it's unserviced and it's dirty and the main spring barrel is filled full of old grease this is real standard stuff i mean this is very 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 typical for what we see but it's good these are good signs i would have confidence looking at a watch like this with these numbers that we would have a good outcome servicing it because it's already running fairly decently it's this is 60 points low but they're not bad and the signal is clean um the watch is definitely original this is your grandfather's watch i believe and it's great that you have this in the family i laughed a little bit though when I saw your return address, I grew up, or well, my family, my whole family's from just like a couple towns over from like South Hamilton and Wenham. My mom went to Beverly High for a little bit, so I thought that was pretty cool. So this watch and I have been in close physical proximity before, is that this is your family watch, and if that family member was in that area, then there you are. My granddad's buried not too far from Beverly. I need to get out there more often. Lower mainspring arbor port is worn, not terribly. I'm getting a little bit of brassing around the edge, though. This, thankfully, is not rust pitting. I thought that's what it was. This is just gruck. It's just black, flecky garbage. Just the ceiling surfaces are actually good. It's just dirty. I'm going to actually blow that stuff out of there. Out, 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 damn spot. No, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Let me... Look and see. I don't see any servicing marks, and the seal in the case back is like plastic. I can see that. It's a nice piece. I've owned a few of these. I've sold them, which I never should have done. Okay, so we have also these things here. I left them off because I'm going to have to take them off anyway to service the watch. Ooh, your cannon pinion and your center wheel are very, very, very worn. Very, very, very worn. So we're probably looking at those. Um, needing to be replaced. That's just, that's, there's no resistance there. None, none. So that's going to need some work. Let's see if we got a pop. Click. Okay. Well, that's fine. It's a runner. The loom looks good. Your ring is worn, but it's honest. It's original. Boy, I wouldn't, I would just clean the heck out of it and put a new crystal in it. Repair the bracelet, repair these bent end links and Man, move on with life. That's a nice watch. And it's great that it's still in the family. And it's great that you're investing in it. I, I applaud you for doing that. I think it needs servicing. It needs seals. It's going to need a new crystal. It's going to need, uh, at a minimum, a cannon pinion, potentially cannon pinion and center wheel. Lower mainspring arbor port repair. And But that's, that's long and the short of it. That should really do it. Nice watch. Nice, nice watch. Okay, cool. Thank you for sending it in and wave hello to the Beverly Depot for me. Okay, bye-bye.